Hello, this is Wampire. Yes, I am still under the weather. Um, not feeling great, but wanted to make this video for you guys. This is from the book U.S. Marine Corps Combat. So it is a uh, instructional instructional manual for the U.S. Marine Corps. And um, there's a lot of techniques presented in here, but the one that really caught my eye is this one right here. And uh, I wanted to make a video on this because I feel like I could help out some people if they're ever in a situation where they need to use this move for self-defense. Why? Because um, I actually used it in a fight. And, and when I say fight, I, I hesitant to call it a street fight because I was in high school at the time. And uh, yeah, um, I was... Let me see. I, this was pre-UFC. I was in high school. So I started martial arts in junior high. So it's been about three years since I, I've been doing martial arts. Okay. And I got into a fight with this guy, Jonathan. And Jonathan, who I thought was my friend, but Jonathan was one of these guys that extremely nice one second and then the next second he's a total dick so you know he's he's psychotic in that sense and uh you know he was coming back from class and uh you know i guess me too so you're going from class to class you know he's he's attending different classes from me and we pass by and I'm like, hey, Jonathan, what's up? You know, and the guy, I think, said something like F off and, you know, screw you and this and that. And I was like, whoa, what the hell's wrong with you? You know, and, you know, I guess the guy was having a bad day. So he took it out on me and, and yelled some obscenities at me and I wasn't going to take it. So I told him to F off, too. And then he that like set off a switch and he came running towards me and swung. I moved out of the way. He took my back and I put him in this move right here. He took my back. So he had some wrestling background. He was smaller than me, but he was more fit. Uh, he was very proud of his cardio that he had a lot of cardio. Uh, he was more athletic than me. And I do remember him saying that he loved wrestling and he had some wrestling background. I don't know how much wrestling he had, but I do remember him saying that. So as a wrestler, he did exactly what he wanted to do. He took my back. And then from there, I thought he was going for a choke and he could have, I don't remember the specifics, but at some point I think he switched to a, a body lock and I think he was going to suplex me. But I put him in this move, and for me, like I said, I've been doing three years of martial arts at that time, by that time, and uh, Kuk Sul Wan was one of the main styles for me. Uh, Kuk Sul Wan is, just think of it as traditional Japanese jiu-jitsu, so we do standing joint locks, and this was one of the moves that I had learned. It was exactly like this, and uh, that's, that's what I put him in. And I remember, you know, because of the intensity of how hard he came at me, you know, he just all of a sudden flipped the switch and just darted at me and swung with everything he had. So I knew he was trying to take my head off. So I cranked this move as hard as I can. Now, did I crank it with perfect technique? No. You know, my knowledge of submissions is not what it is today. And, and that's not trying to brag or anything like that. I'm just saying it, I, I just wasn't as competent as I am today. And I'm not saying I'm great today either. But, you know, I'm definitely better than I was back then. Um, but still, you know, yeah, I didn't apply it perfectly or whatever. But I had been, you know, I had learned it. And we had practiced it in class, and here I am putting it on full force and uh, with no effect. And in the meantime, he's punching me. 
Now, he's not hitting me anywhere solid, uh, like anywhere devastating, so that's good. But I'm getting hit, and I don't like that. So I want to give him back. I want, I want to give him the receipt. You know, he's punching me. I want to punch him back. But in the meantime, I got this move, so I'm not going to let it go to exchange blows with him. So I was like, I should be able to finish him with this. So I'm trying as hard as I can to finish him, but I don't know how, and it's not happening. I'm just cranking as hard as I can, and it's just not working. And uh, remember, this is pre-UFC. So post-UFC, uh, submissions became more and more technical. So I would have been able to apply it better. Uh, also, post-UFC, I think, um, you know, been more comfortable taking this to the ground where I could have had more leverage applying this. Even if I, like, sat out and used my legs to hook down on his wrist. That that could have helped, you know. But anyway, what happened was I couldn't finish it at that point. He, you know, he was almost like laughing, but it did slow down his punches. So I know it was hurting him, but not enough. Not enough. He wasn't going to say uncle or nothing, you know. And uh, I was like, I'm going to break your arm, you know, and that's me bluffing because I'm already, if I could have, I already would have. And I believe he replied with something like, go for it, you know, break it. I dare you. It's something like that, you know, I'll fight you with one arm <laughs> and I'll still kick your butt. You know, that kind of tough talk, right? Uh, but by then, you know, this is a uh, campus, so everyone came in and pulled us apart and he was i remember him red fuming and wanting to like kill me and i'm like what the hell is wrong with this guy you know but anyway anyway let's get let's get back to the move so in my opinion trying to do this as a submission is a waste of time so if you are in the marine corps you've probably done some uh, you know, basic Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And the way you do a submission in jiu-jitsu, that to me is going to be a waste of time right here. Don't do it like that. And that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to squeeze it and crank it as hard as I can and submit the guy. And it's just, it's just one of those moves that it's not really designed for that and, it, and it's really hard to do that way so instead I recommend wrenching wrenching is a jolt if you apply this same technique not as a submission but as a wrenching move it could be very effective and as a submission you want to finish it and I'm telling you you're probably not going to be able to but as a wrenching move you're not trying to finish with this you're cranking it repeatedly. You're, you're causing jolt to the joint and you're shocking the system to off-balance the guy, to weaken their grip, to distract them. So there's a lot of purposes there and it takes you to something else. So it's just a transition move, you know. And, but with, with that mindset, you know you're not trying to finish. If you do it as a submission and you're squeezing, cranking with everything you got, you're putting in all your muscle and you're going to wear yourself out. And that happens to people that they think they got the finish and they, they get the submission and, and they're cranking with everything they can and they can't get the finish. A lot of times that's it. They, they've spent all their energy. So to make sure that doesn't happen, you know, I say don't do it as a submission. Do it as a wrench. And that's the best advice that I got for you guys. So that's it for now. Thank you for viewing and take care, folks.